As we all try to inch closer and closer to the end of the tunnel, it's very exciting to announce the France travel and cultural news for late this year and for 2021. As you can imagine, quite a number of inaugurations and major events in 2020 have been significantly delayed or postponed. So let's go first to Paris for an update and more news. Among the long-awaited and belated inaugurations is the Bourse du Commerce Collection Pinot in Paris. The new contemporary art museum is now scheduled to open in January 2021. Designed by architect Tadeo Ando, it will be housed in the former commodity exchange, the Bourse du Commerce, in the heart of the city. The dome-top building with 3,000 square meters of exhibition spaces will host a 5,000-piece Pinot art collection. Having postponed its opening to the public in July, the Hôtel de la Marine will now open April 13th, 2021. It is located on the Place de la Concorde, right across from the Rue Royale, from the legendary Hôtel du Crayon. The former headquarters of the French Navy from the French Revolution through 2015, the 18th-century palace is being restored to showcase the royal and state's period furniture, tapestries, and decorative objects to be displayed in the palace's ceremonial ballrooms. Let's briefly mention a couple more developments in Paris. Another development worth celebrating by Parisians and visitors alike is the opening early 2021 of what's being called the New Samaritaine, it was founded in 1870 by Ernest Cognac and his wife Marie-Louise Jay, with a first boutique at the Pont Neuf. They expanded to include the now landmark Art Nouveau and Art Deco buildings that made the department store so iconic. This shopping and family destination of Paris was purchased in 2001 by luxury powerhouse LVMH. Closed in 2005, the new iteration, overseed by the award-winning Sana Agency, will artfully meld contemporary architecture and restoration of the historic buildings and include a socially diverse component, offices, subsidized housing, and a childcare center in the ancillary buildings that stretch two blocks between the Quai de Louvre and Rue de Rivoli. The three main buildings will house a department store, food courts, and restaurants, and in the Art Deco building facing the Seine, a 72-room Cheval Blanc Hotel, an undertaking that would have made its founders proud. Paris will also welcome in its immediate suburbs an innovative project. The Manufacture du la Mode de Chanel, northeast of Paris, designed by architect Rudy Riccati, the building will welcome all luxury crafts in one place. The rest of France in 2021 will be just as exciting and rich in developments. You'll be happy to hear that Bordeaux's Bassin du Lumière a grand digital and immersive exhibition space housed in four huge basins of the former World War II submarine base opened this June after just a three-month delay. Running through January 3rd, its two inaugural exhibits, Gustav Klimt, Gold in Color, and Paul Klee, Painting Music, will be followed by March 2021 into January 2022 by Monet Renoir Chagall Journeys Around the Mediterranean. And on the same theme, an exhibit of Nice native Yves Klein, Infinite Blue. The neighboring Cité du Vent and recently opened Musée Mer Marine are all a 15-minute tram ride from the city's central Place de la Comédie. One more reason to visit and pop the corks is the June 17th to 20th, 2021 Bordeaux Wine Festival, the largest wine festival in Europe. A new cultural venue is coming March 30th, 2021 to the chic seaside resort of Deauville in Normandy. Known for its horse racing, photography, and the American Film Festival, Deauville will also be known for the Les Francais Scan, an innovative cultural center featuring a museum, media center, and auditorium. It will be housed in former buildings used by Franciscan nuns since 1876. Les Francais Scan's architectural rebirth will meld the historic building with ultra-contemporary elements and interiors. The museum's collection will include 546 artworks donated at his death by figurative painter André Hamburg, all of which were inspired by Deauville's beautiful coastline, known as the Côte Fleury. An additional 100 paintings from the artist's personal collection will be permanently exhibited, including works from his contemporaries. Marie Laurencin, Fujita, Van Dungen, and Diran. The city has also embarked on an aggressive acquisitions program to grow its collection, with works by Eugène Baudin, Paul Signac, André Lota, Moïse Kiesling, and Raoul Dufy, and others. Finally, starting this December through 2021, France, Normandy, and Rouen in particular will celebrate the bicentennial of the birth of native son Gustave Flaubert, author of the masterpiece Madame Bovary. 
the Loire Valley and sister region, the Atlantic Loire Valley, are still celebrating the 20th anniversary of their listing as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The listing includes 170 miles along the fabled river, from Sully sur Loire to Chalon sur Loire. In addition to being able to see all the Renaissance marvels at any time, like Chambord and Chenonceau, there's major news in the Atlantic Loire Valley. Also, in the World Heritage Site span is the 12th century Fontevraud Abbey, near Chinon and Saumur. The Abbey will now welcome this December a modern art museum, the private collection of Martin and Leon Klingman. These 900 works from the 19th and 20th centuries include paintings by Toulouse-Lautrec, Delacroix, Degas, Soutin, and Corot, and sculptures by Roldan and Germain Richier. They will be displayed in the former stables of the Mother Abbess, who must have had quite the collection of horses. As the saying goes, every cloud has its silver lining. So if the new normal permits, American visitors will be welcome to join us for two festival anniversaries that were postponed in 2020. August 6th to 15th, 2021, Brittany will celebrate with added um the 50th anniversary of the Festival Anto-Celtique de Lorient, a chance to witness and listen to spectacular Celtic music and traditions for which the region is known. With additional swing, the major festival known as Jazz à Juan will now celebrate its 60th anniversary from July 9th to 25th, 2021. One of Europe's oldest festivals, it's hosted the greats, from Ella Fitzgerald, Ray Charles, and Miles Davis, to Sarah Vaughan, Jesse Norman, and Wynton Marsalis, just to name a few. Closer to home, the French West Indies also have good news. As soon as the borders reopen, JetBlue will resume its nonstop flights from New York JFK to the Guadalupe Islands through April 2021. And American Airlines will also resume its year-round nonstop flights from Miami to Guadalupe and to Fort de France, Martinique. Finally, you'll find on francepresskit.com up-to-date information on the current health situation in France, as well as story ideas. For instance, Impressionist sites in the Paris region, including the little-known Kaibut property, just 14 miles southeast of Paris, or the site where Van Gogh painted his last masterpiece, Tree Roots. France Press Kit will also have hotel openings and ideas for off-the-beaten-path cities and regional destinations to consider, including where to ski, and more detailed information and updates on the news you've just heard. Last but not least, check out the news on major events like next year's Tour de France and other well-known sporting events that are brewing beyond. In short, everything to know for a long-awaited and fun return to France.